Welcome CSE 103 class to the last Python exercise for the fall semester and since it's the end of October we're going to do a little pumpkin exercise and it'll kind of review skills that we've used throughout the couple weeks of working with Python turtles and what we're going to do here is just kind of create a pumpkin out of turtles and we're going to do it with functions and if I just run this here you'll see what's happening it's going to create two circles it's going to create three triangles and then just kind of a, a basic polygon shape here and a basic polygon shape here and I shouldn't say basic it's basically a turtle going to different points and then filling in and down here it's going to different points and then filling in so wherever it's creating more than one object like two circles and three triangles we're gonna use one function and then use arguments we're gonna pass arguments just to change the position so for example just to look at the code I have here so far the first function is def draw circle and if you haven't drawn a circle before there is a function to draw a circle and it typically starts at 0 0 and it just draws a circle it's real easy you don't have to do any loops or anything like that it'll just draw a circle so that's what's in here so it basically just creates a color of orange red it lifts its pen up so you don't see it initially and then it goes to a certain spot and the spot we're gonna go to is XY meaning we're gonna start one over a little bit and start a second one over to the left a little bit so that's where we're gonna throw our arguments or pass our arguments so when we call the function for draw circle we're gonna call the function twice the first time it's gonna call it 20 over the second time it's gonna call it 20 to the left so that's what these two function calls are gonna do so that's very simple and if again we run it that's just doing that right there now the triangles same kind of thing now we've made triangles before for polygons and what we're gonna do for that function is make them black do a pen up and then tell it to go to somewhere because each time they have to start at different places so this one they're starting at different X's but they're starting at the same Y this one it's starting at a different X and Y so that's all we have to change everything else is going to be the same so we're just going to draw a triangle using a for loop with three sides so we're going to do a, a, a for loop with a range of three and then it's just going to go forward whatever size works out I'll have to use some trial and error to figure out what size triangle to use but these are the signs that I ended up using 40 and then for the angle it's just 360 divided by 3 whatever number you're using here you're dividing that um, you're dividing 360 by that number to get the proper angle so that's how it's drawing the triangle and it's ending fill it's doing a begin fill and end fill after the loop and then we're just calling the triangle three times and again it's just some trial and error so we had to figure out where to put it and there's the right eye so we had to, if this is zero if it's starting at zero here this one is going up 80 and it's going to the right 15 a little bit so it's not quite where the circle started so it's in a little bit so it and it goes over 40 and then it turns and it goes up and it does its first triangle and then it'll go over to the other side we'll just find the opposite number so it's kind of moving its X over but it's going to be the same Y and then the last one is negative 20 right about here right about the center of the other circle and it's drawing that one in the center because remember it's, if it's 40 then we're going to be minus 20 that'll be halfway so we have a centered nose and then finally we have a mouth with just one function call and a stem with just one function call and now in class we kind of turned some angles and made it like go forward and turn an angle and that was kind of a little more challenging to work with and it, what's a lot easier after doing this was actually just telling the turtle to just go to different positions in other words just plot it here plot it here plot it there he doesn't have to go a certain distance and turn and go a certain distance and turn he's just going to go to different coordinates and then when it's done it's just going to fill in and the same thing with the stem we'll just have to find the right points for it to go to go to go to go to and then you could just change them around to adjust the the look of the stem so we'll go through doing that very quickly I won't do every line of code we'll just kind of review it a little bit just so you have the idea of how that works I'll keep that open and I'll make a new trinket I'll make it Python and I'll call it 18 Python pumpkin and I'll save it and the first thing we'll do here is we'll import our turtle and we're also going to do something that we haven't done before is make a instance of our screen we're going to do wn equals turtle dot screen we're going to use the screen class and then we're going to give that whatever name we use to create that screen class we're going to say wn dot bg color and you could use any color here some people did black so you had a black background which looked kind of neat and I'm just doing light blue now just so it has a different kind of color 
and when you do this it creates a, a light blue color now I also am creating a turtle here I'm creating an instance of a turtle and I'm gonna use the same one and in the stem as well I know I made a different one for the stem but I'm not gonna use any angles here we're gonna speed it up to 8 so it goes quickly and we can even hide the turtle right from the beginning so we don't have to see the turtle because the idea is that we're just gonna see the shapes that created so the first part we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a function for drawing a circle so here's our function for drawing a circle and what we're gonna use we're gonna use in our parameters up here we're gonna put X and Y because that's what's gonna change we're gonna make T dot color now we already have a turtle named T and it's gonna be T dot color we're gonna use orange red we're gonna use pen up so we don't see his pen we're gonna tell him to go to a certain position and begin fill and then draw a circle this is the circle function and it uses radius so if I use 70 that means it's gonna be 140 so it's gonna be double whatever it is so even though 70 doesn't seem very big it's gonna be double that and then we're gonna end fill and that's all that's gonna happen so if we just created one right now or just call the function right now we would we would call draw circle and it's looking for X and Y if I didn't have that in yet or if I just put in 0 0 because that's its default if I just did that that's what would happen and we want two that are kind of ones over a little to the left ones over a little to the right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a first one that's the Y is still 0 but the first one's gonna be 20 so it'll be a little over to the right and I could even just say right here and there's my right one now it's hard to see that it's a little bit over but now I'll copy this and make my left one and change this to negative 20 so it's symmetrical and so it's just a little bit on the other side of the of the zero axis in the middle and now there's one there's a second one so we're not watching the turtle draw it we're doing these really quick so there's my two circles so that's it so that's all we need for the the base of the pumpkin or the background of the pumpkin and again you could do other things with that but that's that's the start so now we're gonna do the triangles we already did these we're gonna build up and do the triangles so here's our function for the triangle we're gonna make it black we're gonna use just like we did before pen up we're gonna to have to use a go to so we tell the triangle where to go our first one's gonna start right about here and then we're gonna do begin fill and end fill and it's gonna surround the for loop remember we have the for loop that actually draws the triangle so I could even put a comment here and say draw a triangle and what's gonna happen here is we're gonna say for I in range and it's gonna be three and it's gonna have the colon and then we're gonna to have to indent these two lines just like we did all of our other polygons and they're just gonna go forward I tried 40 to see how it work and then I tried 360 divided by 3 that should give me the right angle now if I just call it right now now I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet but my function is called triangle so I'll put one here and then it's looking for two arguments remember if there's two parameters here you gotta send in two arguments so if I just put it at 0 0 just to see what happens just to see where it starts it's gonna draw the two circles and then put my triangle down there now it down here it's at 0 so you can see we need to be up here somewhere around 80 and it needs to be over a little bit so we're gonna put our Y at 80 and we'll make this go over to like 15 and see what happens to just draw one of these and there's our one triangle and that looks pretty good that's at 15 so we can't put it at negative 15 because it's gonna start here and go right into there so we're gonna have to add on to that so it might be something let's see 15 now again we're making this thing 40 so we have 40 here it's starting at 15 so it, I think what it worked out is something like 55 so let's work on our second one it's still gonna be 80 remember the second triangle for the left eye is gonna be 80 but let's just try something here let's try you know negative 40 just just to see what happens just to see where we're at and you can see it's a little close to the center so if you try negative 50 that looks a little bit better that's probably fine although I think I did negative 55 I don't know if it'll really make a difference at this point but that looks okay so there's our two triangles and we just have to put one in the center and the last one we put in the center we know that it's going to start at negative 20 because if the triangle is 40 in length this way and if it starts here it's going to be halfway over just like when we used to make our squares that started that were centered in the page or centered on our screen we're going to move over so we're going to have to do that for our next one so I'll make this negative 20 and that's a little low we might move it up just a little bit so I might bring it up to like 50 just so we have room for the mouth there 
and that looks pretty good. We have room for a mouth down here. So again, we used three function calls, this one for the right eye, this one for the left eye, and this last one for the nose. Not doing a whole lot of trial and error because for the video, you probably, if you missed class, you just want to get this thing done. So that's what we're doing for the triangles. Now we have to put in a mouth. Now in, in class originally, we had the turtle start here and turn at a right angle and move down and did all kinds of things like that. What we're going to do this time around is actually just plot it. So we're just going to start it at a point over here and then just have them go to another point. And then it's actually going to be symmetrical. So we can kind of use the same points and just use like positive numbers. If we start here and end up that, there would be negative numbers over here, positive numbers over here. So, and we're going to make a function called def mouth. And here's our function called def mouth. Now what we did originally was just give it a color of black, make it go up. And we started at negative 60, 40, which was right about here. And I kind of did that by, by trial and error, so I had to figure it out first where the best place to go is. And if I just run this, you'll see what happens. It starts at negative 60 and 40 up, and then that's where it starts, so that's why I put start xy here. So it starts there, and then from there, I did a t down so that it starts to actually put its pen down and draw it, which is fine. Uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to see a line to go where it starts, because remember, the the turtle's going to start here, so that's why we put the pen up. Then he goes there, then we put the pen down. And now he's going to start to draw his pumpkin, and we're going to start to do his begin fill. So he's starting at that point, negative 60, 40, and then we kind of went down, which ended up being negative 30, 20 to there. And then he kind of moved over, which is going to be the opposite. So this is 30, 20, and then this is 60, 40, the opposite of that. So that kind of makes that kind of symmetrical shape and then all he had to do after that is go to zero which is the X and then I just went down a little bit to 30 just to kind of make it go in the middle and you don't need to go to the last point it'll actually fill in so you don't have to fill it up the the polygon will get filled up even if it doesn't get to the end so it goes from here to here over straight over up and then just down and that's it and those are the the one two three four five positions and they match up with this one one two three, four, and I should say five here, five positions, and that's what happens when it finishes up. And then similarly, that's the way we're going to do the stem. Now this will take more trial and error. And again, don't forget the call down here, and don't forget the function call is not inside the function. It's not indented. It has to be out at the margin. So again, we have a draw circle function that draws the two circles, triangle that draws the three triangles, the mouth, and the final one is going to be the stem. So we'll make a function called stem and that'll be green so it'll be we could copy a lot of these same things here you know you could start it off like this I could even I'll just copy all this here and I can call it stem and it's gonna be green and it's gonna do all this kind of stuff except we're gonna start up here we're gonna start somewhere up here and remember if this is if 70 is half of it it's probably like one the top of here is like 140 so we're gonna be somewhere in there maybe 130 something like that so originally we're going to have to go to somewhere like like 130, I think, and it's going to be negative, let's see, if this starts at negative, I think, 55 or something like that, it's going to be something like that, maybe just negative 50, maybe a place to start. And then it's going to go to, it's going to go across here, and it could probably go across almost the similar place. So position 2 could be something like, you know, maybe like 50 and it'll also be 130 so it's gonna go straight across first and I'll just throw my function call in here for stem and again we're not using arguments here because we're just telling it to go to different positions so it's just going procedural right through this whole function so let's see what happens here we're gonna now we're gonna go to 50 130 so it should go somewhere over here and let's run it And there's that line going across, and we're just going to finish it off with a couple new positions down here, because that's position two. And I'm just going to throw my positions in here ahead of time, because I've already done it, and I don't need to go through every one for you to see what's going to happen. There's our triangles. 
There's our mouth. Now here comes that. It goes across and it goes around. So it's going from this point to that point to that point to that point to that point. And the points I have down here, you could just kind of stop your video and, and just look at the points here. But I'm starting at negative 5130. And this one should be it should be the same at the end. So let me put negative 5130 down there. They should start and end at the same point. So let me run it. Triangles, mouth, and there's the stem, and that looks okay. So, so again, when I when I got to here, which is, and and you could shorten these a little bit if, if it's, they're too long, I could use it negative forty. I'll put that at forty, and I'll put this one at negative forty, and I'll try it again. And this one should be a little bit shorter now. The stem shouldn't be as far. It starts in a little bit. Goes starts at negative forty. And then it goes over to 40, and it comes around and it ends at negative 40. So that's this negative 40, that's that 40, and the top negative 40, that's where it starts and ends. And then it's just going up. So you're just kind of using some trial and error and figuring, okay, now if I'm at, you know, 130 for my Y, I'm going to have to go up a little bit higher. I went to 150, and then 170, and 180, went down a little bit to 175, went down to 155. These are all the Ys here. So that's the up and down part, and then I'm kind of going over, once I get to here, I'm going back to negative numbers to the other side, and you can see I'm going from, from 40, which is here, and then I'm going to 20, and then I'm going to 10, and then I'm going to 0, that's right in the center, and then like negative 15, and then negative 10, negative 15 again, and then finishing off you know, same as start here. So that's the same as start. So that's where it finishes off. So this is where it starts. This is actually position one. I should say one here. That's where it starts and goes around here. So that's all we have to do for this. You could change the colors, do a black background. Some people did yellow eyes in here, which looked really nice. And actually, if I did that, that'd be very easy to change. I could just go here and make it black. And I could make the eyes yellow. Look how easy this would be to change. I'll make the eyes yellow, and I think that's all I'd have to do. Keep the stem green. Now let's try it. Look at how neat that looks. Yellow eyes. I still have a oh, uh, I guess the mouth would be yellow too. So I'd have to make the mouth yellow. And I'll try it one more time. And that looks pretty neat with the yellow eyes. Like we have a little candle in there or something. So you could certainly add anything else, but that's not a bad pumpkin to use. So again, just to review this, we have a couple functions here: circle, triangle, mouth, and stem. Four functions. The circle is being called twice to do one just a little right and left of center. And the arguments we're using are just x and y. And keep in mind, these are the arguments down here that we're actually passing along the actual values. These are the parameters x and y and then they're filtering in here. You have to have the go to x, y because that's where it's gonna this is kind of like the the temporary variable. So this is the variable. It's using a variable right from here instead of a, assigning a variable we're giving it its value here and sending it in with the x and then it gets sent in there. So each time it runs the function it's using the value that we send in. So that's how we do the two circles. We did the same things with the triangles where we used arguments down here, we send them into the parameters, they get sent in to this go to method which sends it to the XY. Everything else is already set up to draw a triangle and we just set up different positioning for the right eye, left eye, and nose. The mouth, we just kind of made a shape that fills and it just goes to different positions. No angles, no forward, none of that. We took all that out for this time around. Same thing with the stem. We're just going to different positions and trying to figure out which works best. If you wanted to use something like you know, a different color here, like a lime green. You could try that. Maybe the stem's too dark on the black background. Now it looks a little brighter. That looks a little nicer. So that's all you need to do. So, so that's Python Pumpkin.